Hello, in this video I'm going to be helping you get started with Stan in Python. PyStan is the Python interface to Stan. For this video I'm going to assume that you already have Python installed, but if this is not the case then you'll want to head to this link to go and download it and then install it first. In order to install PyStan we can open a terminal and use pip to install it. This should also install the dependency libraries NumPy and Siphon if they're not already installed. And then we can open Python console in the same terminal using the following command. The most common errors tend to be due to problems with the compiler. Stan requires a C++ compiler and getting a compatible compiler installed and recognized by your system can be a very daunting task. However, I promise you that it will be worth it. Just make sure that once your compiler is installed that it's also in your environment path so that your interface to Stan can find it. If you can get this done without any errors, then congratulations, you're already on your way to becoming a Stan user. If not, then check out the link in the description box below to a thread on common um, installation issues and how to solve them. Okay, so now that we have Stan installed, the first thing that we're gonna do is import it so that we can actually use it. You might also want to import NumPy for some additional math and matplotlib for some plots. Now, to demonstrate how Stan works, let's start off with a toy model. Let's generate 1000 data points from a Gaussian distribution with a location 5 and scale 1. Okay, so let's say that we would like to build a Stan model to recover the parameters of the Gaussian distribution, the location and the scale from only the x data values. Stan models are written in their own syntax and here you can see an example of what they might look like. In a future video I will go into more detail about writing and understanding Stan models. There are different ways to use this model but the easiest way to uh, do this is just to store it in a file named for example my underscore model dot stan. We also need to prepare the data before we can run our model. PyStan takes in data in a dictionary format and in our case it will look something like this. Now we're ready to run our Stan model. We first have to compile the model which will help to avoid recompilation issues. So for example when we want to run the same code over and over again with new data it will be much much quicker. Now we can start the run by calling the sampling function with the data as the arguments. To see how our model performed, we can simply type print, which will bring up some summary statistics of the fitted model, things like the mean and the standard deviations of the parameter values, so the location and the scale. Or we can also use fit.summary for a more detailed statistics breakdown. As you can see, we've recovered the parameters perfectly. Arviz is a fantastic library for plotting STAM results. So we're going to pip install it and then import it. And once we've imported it, we can use its plot underscore joint function so that we can visualize the posterior draws of the parameters and their marginalized posteriors too. This might not mean much to you yet, but I promise you that I will cover it very shortly. To access the posterior drawers of the parameters, we can put it into an ordered dictionary using the extract function. Okay, so the last essential thing that you're going to need to know is how to save and load your fitted model. Again, there are several ways to do this, but usually how I do it is that I use the uh, library pickle. So we import pickle, then we can use pickle to dump the model and the fit as a dictionary into a file called, for example, model underscore fit dot pickle. Right now, fit is a defined variable. We can see it when we use the function dir, but if we clear the variable fit and our model sm and call dir again, you will see that they are no longer found. So to load it back up again, we simply use pickle's load function to load them both back up as dictionaries.
sorted. Now you know all the basics of Stan in Python that you need to get started. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you would like to support Stan and help us continue making educational content like this, then please consider making a donation on our support page, which I will link down below. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos.